So you just got your 3D printer and you're wondering what to print first. Well, here hopefully I'm going to give you a list of the five things that I found most useful to print at the start of my 3D printing journey and hopefully it'll save you some time, it'll save you, you know, a bunch of headache and just keep you a little bit more organized along the way. So when I was making this list, I wanted to make sure I had some sort of criteria. So I'm not just throwing random things into the video and random items in the video. Um, I also wanted to make sure that I have physically printed it myself and I've used it, I've tried it, I can tell you exactly how it is. All these things will be linked down in the description below. So if you wanted to check it out yourself, feel free to. The main categories that I use to judge these items were usefulness, the ease of printing, time of printing, and the materials needed to print it. Once you set up your printer out of the box, assuming it's like a bamboo, it should be printable. So hopefully this is really accessible for you guys. One more thing I wanted to add before we get into this list, based on the comments and based on the YouTube analytics, I also realized a lot of you are new at 3D printing like me. So I'm hoping to just share my information on what was most useful. So the first thing that came to mind, creating a poop bucket was the most important thing. For those of you who haven't printed anything yet, uh, basically, what happens every time you print is there's filament that's being purged out. The nozzle's trying to clear or trying to heat up the filament so then it can create nice smooth streaks. Some of that is actually lost in form of little balls that we call poop. If you don't really have anything to hold it, it kind of just flies everywhere. That was my experience when I first started 3D printing. I didn't know you had to have something to really hold these things. At the end of my kitchen table where I first started printing, things were just flying. After a while, I realized you can just print something um, that you can put there so it holds or catches all of the poop. And this is what this was at first. Thank you to Michael for this compact poop bucket. So if you have an A1 or A1 mini, this is like the perfect compact system because it kind of just sits on the side of the machine. It is like anchored onto where the poop comes out of. I used it for about a week or a week and a half. If you've watched my newer videos, you actually don't see this anymore. I just decided to go for a bigger design, which was this by kstudio.ca. It's a bigger one, so then I don't have to dump it out as much. Now I kind of like, I dump it out like once a week because it's smooth on the bottom, so then it kind of wiggles a lot. I kind of just like double-sided tape the bottom to the table so it doesn't move. But in the case that you don't have an A1 Mini or an A1, if you just search up like poop bin on Maker's World, you should be able to see multiple designs that, that works. The thing that I would say is find ones that use the least amount of filament because then you're saving filament. One note that I would say is do not print the ones that are so small. For example, um, these ones or these ones, just because then you'd have to clean it very frequently. But if that's kind of your thing, then go ahead and do it. I just think it's a little too small for my use cases. I would always suggest printing larger poop bins than smaller ones. The second thing that I would print is a toolbox for everything that came from inside your 3D printer. When you're setting up your 3D printer, you should be getting a little box. At least I got a little box of little tools to clean your printer, lubricate it, wrenches, Allen keys. With this, I would make sure that you keep it in a safe place because even though you can't order a new one, it's gonna be a really big hassle to do that. So you might as well just keep the one that you got safe. It comes in a cardboard little pouch. It's not that sturdy, you know, and I think it's very easy to misplace since it looks like old packaging or like just like standard packaging that comes from whatever. So what I did was I printed this case for the toolkit. There's actually a lot of different cases that you can get from Maker's World, but I would say that this one was really nice for me because it wasted the least amount. So when you take out the original cardboard box, you should get this like plastic uh, holder for all the different tools. I thought it would be a waste to just throw that out, even though it doesn't look the best. So what I did was I just downloaded a case from Jack Hubeck here, um, and he made this little box that basically fit the plastic holder one of one. So I just kind of put kind of how he has it, the tools inside that, and then made sure that I, I wouldn't lose it. Alongside that little toolbox that you get, you should be getting filament swatches, which also if you search up filament swatches, um, swatch holder, you know, you should be able to find different ones that, you know, fit your aesthetic. The ones that I printed were kind of like these board cases ones that I displayed on my wall. But if you don't, if you're not looking to display it, there's different ones that are way more compact um, or ones that go on, say, like a pegboard. So it's really up to you what you want to do with that. But my idea with this um, on the list is essentially organize the tools that you get from your bamboo 3D printing box. So the third thing I would also print, which would save you a bunch of time, is an AMS disconnect tool. 
This tool was so useful for me. Essentially what it is, is if you have an AMS, if you're just connecting the lines, typically you have to like hold down the, where you insert the, the wire and then pull it out. When I didn't have the tool, it was so hard that I almost cracked one of my nails, just like trying to push it down or getting the right angle. With this tool, it's so useful because you just kind of use the tool to push down the wire and it comes out immediately. So I would definitely print tools to help you make your 3D printing life better. The next thing that I'll also print that helps with organization. I'm a big organization guy once I started 3D printing because I realized you could print organizational tools like nothing. So clips are a big thing. For example, garbage bin clips. So I have an open garbage can in the bathroom. Usually I try to reuse like plastic bags from grocery stores, but they're a little too small for anything. But with these clips, I can clip them to the trash bin and they kind of works perfect. So little clips like these, this one's by Articat. This worked really well for me, as well as things like these by Nicodem, Bartnik. You know, this was really easy to print, really good to use. These prints are just really functional. And, you know, I, I find them really useful uh, just to have some like this to hold things in place. And the last thing that I would print if you're new to 3D printing is cable organizers. I did buy a bag before, but those bags were like, it was like $15 for a bunch, which is fine. But I felt some of them went to waste because I couldn't really use half of it. But with 3D printing, you can really just print a cable organizers or winders or whatever you need. There are so many people with so many designs. This one's by Squin. I printed two of these where it just kind of wraps up the cable nicely for you. There's ones that are like one-sided winders, this is by Matthew Ghost. Um, these all work really, really well. There's also these ones that are like on the table. These are the ones that you kind of see more often in like Amazon or wherever, where you're trying to buy things. This one's by Magbook Design. So yeah, those are the five prints that I would print if you were just beginning your 3D printing journey. I'd start off with the poop bin, you know, with the toolboxes and the tools that will help you make your 3D printing life easier. And from then get better at organizing. So getting cable organizers, clips or whatever that you need to organize better. So it just streamlines your 3D printing much better. I'd love to know what you consider must haves for 3D printing. You know, I'd love to know in the comments if you have different tools or different things that you think should have made it on this list but didn't. And also, I'm toying with this idea of creating like a community contest. I know there's contests on Maker's World with, you know, different like Year of the Snake that's going on now, vaults or whatnot, that they have prizes and themes. But I wanted to try doing something that's more within our community, you know, within our followers, because I saw a lot of you have a lot of experience and a lot of you are also beginners. It'd be fun to just see if you guys wanted to do a competition and like hold, you know, for example, um, most creative idea or best models um, and then we'll kind of have like categories and whatnot. I haven't really thought it out yet but I thought it'd be really fun and if our YouTube community contest for 3D printing is something that you'd be interested in and you'd want to help out or you want to just watch that um, please let me know in the comments below or I'll probably also do like a community page poll uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this and you're interested in seeing more, I'd love it if you can help drop a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.